Hey guys, uh, today we're unboxing a Canon Pixma TR8520 printer. Here it is, and we'll just try to set it. Uh, we're just going to go through this quick setup process. Just wanted to show you what's inside the box and what you are getting if you're ordering it online. Okay, so. We have the quick startup guide. There's the CD in here. Setup software, some photo paper. Then we have the box with accessories. There's gonna be, see here, there's ink in here. This printer uses five ink cartridges, number 281. So there's black, photo black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Um, you're gonna get a, uh, a fax line cord and a power supply cord. So now I'm gonna pull the printer out of the box. Did I have it the right side up? So this is our TR8520 printer. Um, I'm just going to remove these here. All the protective coverings. And before we plug it in, we have to remove this according to the instruction. So, basically let the print head free now. When we turn the printer on, it should go slides to the middle so we could put the ink cartridges in. So now we're gonna just plug it in. Take this cord. We're gonna connect the cord right here. It goes right there. If you're using the um, network cord, you're going to put it in here. USB cord goes in here, and your phone line goes in here. So we have the printer plugged in. The printer has two trays. There's one in the back over here that you can feed. Usually, people use it for photos because it's easy to just put one sheet in there and um, go from there. And there's also this front tray that you can use for paper just being there um, for whenever you need it so this control panel goes up and down like this here let's turn it on we have the cord plugged in already and another thing is going to pull the paper output tray right here so our paper doesn't just go anywhere it lands on this tray here this is the document feeder unit on this printer where you can make a few pages copies at the same time or scans or fax 
Um, very convenient if you want to do a few copies. And you can also use this here for your copies. And when the printer is ready, it's going to ask us for some ink. The printer just asked for the language and I selected English. Uh, select next, then agree. So it's now asking us to put the ink cartridges in and it's showing the instructions. So I'm just going to go over it with you one more time. Sometimes it's missed by, um, by people. So um, we need to pull this tab. And also if you get anything that's aftermarket, you also need to make sure you remove any protective um, tabs that are on the, on the ink cartridge. So we're going to open the, the printer. And then we're going to remove this tab. We're just going to pull it as it says. And it's going to remove the protective plastic right here. And then we just unclip it right here. Like so. And then install it. This is going to be the yellow ink cartridge. So we're going to do the same thing for each cartridge. Yes. So I have my last cartridge in here. Make sure you press it down and you hear the beep. I'm going to close this and let the printer do its startup. And now we're going to load some paper in the main tray. Set this to where we need to, that letter size. So this is another thing that we need to. When you pull this front uh, tray cover back, you can see where the letter setting is at. And that's the size of my paper. And that's where I need to set it at and then put the um, cover back. And now we're gonna insert the paper tray. While the printer is getting started for the alignment, um, just wanted to go over this printer. It is a very good printer. It does all the things that you need the printer to do. Very good size, not too big. Um, uses five cartridges. Some of the Canon ink cartridges that are 281, they use six ink cartridges, and that's mostly for photos. This one just has five and plenty of ink in each one. So um, that's something handy. If you are into like aftermarket ink, this is also a good printer for that. Um, you can get ink at this point it's kind of expensive but later it may be less expensive to maybe a couple bucks a cartridge um so it does have a fax it has a network connectivity with the ethernet cable um usb connectivity and it's of course wireless it has the memory card slots up front over here um let's see here so it's touch screen like you saw already. Um, it has like lots of things that are very convenient for us to use the printer with. So I already put the paper in there and I'm going to hit OK. Now it should print the align alignment page. Also, um, I mentioned the aftermarket ink. And um, it's basically, if you use it, then... Uh, Canon is not going to be happy about it. It's just your warranty is void. But um, still, in most cases with printers like this, y there isn't much support that you can get as far as replacement or whatever, unless you sign up for the warranty. So that's why I'm kind of I have printers that are older and they're definitely out of warranty, and I use the um, ink cartridges that are refilled or remanufactured they call them on ebay and amazon and it, they work very good on canon printers if it just doesn't accept it it's not a huge loss um, to
to exchange the printer anyway, uh, to exchange the ink cartridge. And uh, we're going to have some more videos on this particular model, how to um, maintain it, a little like here and there things, paper jams and uh, things like that. So check out our channel and subscribe. Um, we're going to wait for this alignment page to go through and then I'm going to show you what a good uh, nozzle check or a good print head test looks like. So just a couple more uh, minutes and uh, we're going to be done in a few seconds. Sorry. So it printed out an alignment page and it needs me to scan it. So we're going to this arrow goes to that arrow right there. So just like so. We're going to put it down, close the cover and press OK. So now it says that the alignment is complete and it's going to the connection but we're going to skip that for now. Actually, I'll just show you basics of the connectivity and then you should be able to... And then it's asking you to refer to this book. To refer to this book um, for the connectivity and everything. So it's basically that a couple things that we already went through with you guys, but um, you can do the CD for connecting to your computer. So it just goes through and it's basically saying that it's ready to connect. And um, you're just going to select the connection that you're going to do. If you're doing wireless, you're just going to select that. If it's just USB, you're going to connect the cord in the back. Um, I'm just going to say do not connect.